Hey guys, welcome back to the Long Dark Nomad. And in this episode, we are in the uh, coal mine and we have to spend three days. Now, embarrassingly, I will admit that I have been playing this for the last like 10 minutes, talking to myself, thinking I was recording when I wasn't. But basically, all I've done is I've just passed like a day and a half just the normal way. It's been pretty boring anyway, if I'm being honest. I've just been like eating and like not really doing all that much. I repaired my boots. That was it. That's really, that's really embarrassing. I gotta admit, but basically it's just been this, and I've just been talking about stuff. It's not that big of a deal, I I suppose, at the end of the day. But yeah, we we really just have to sit here and pass time. One thing I did discuss is the route I'm going. So this is of course the cave that gets you from Pleasant Valley Coastal Highway, and we do have to go to Coastal Highway. That wind is kind of loud. But we're not going to go directly there through this cave. Let's drink this. So the reason, of course, is being there's so many locations of Mystery Lake here, and I just find that it makes more sense if we just we'll go from this cave, we'll go down the road to the rural store, and then we'll just head up to the radio control hut. We'll go through the dam, get all the Mystery Lake stuff checked out. Then through Mystery Lake, we can go to Coastal Highway and do the two Coastal Highway places, and we can finish off in um, Desolation Point. So that's the overall plan. I just checked to make sure I'm actually recording this time. Uh, do I need books? Not really. We kind of have so much stuff that we like don't even really need. Like, I don't even need to repair this stuff, but... It takes two cloth to repair that. It takes three to repair that one. Wild. I don't think I get cloth from tearing that down. So I'm just not going to worry about it too much. You know, like, we're in a pretty good shape. Just keep passing time. Should be, like, less than a day left. Well, you know what I mean. Literally 24 more hours. Okay, we're actually tired for once. We might have to cook just to get water. But otherwise, I think we're fine. The airline food also gives us water. Yeah, something I mentioned is... It's kind of... It seems like, from the description and the sounds... Like, we're actually legitimately just eating a block of, like, ice and frozen food. Because it literally does say it's frozen. And we don't, we don't warm it up. You know? And it was out in the ice. So, I'd like to think... That Astrid is just like biting into like an inch thick piece of ice that has some like peas and chicken in it. And like, I mean, yeah, that's technically edible, I suppose. One thing you have to consider, though, is if you cooked it, it would end up giving more calories in principle because your body wouldn't have to spend calories warming it up. But of course, this is just, you know, a game and you can't actually warm these up, so it doesn't really matter. I can't believe I spent like 12 minutes talking to myself. I mean, I suppose that is what a video is anyway, just talking to yourself. But then you just happen to have a microphone to record it for all time. Okay, that will be a lot of our water. I also crafted, like, I spent an hour making rose hips. That was something else I passed time doing. I'm not going to make teas or like, I might have to cook just to get some water. But, I don't know. We're plenty warm. We don't really have to worry. I am wondering how much, like, durability loss where the bedroll takes when we just do this, but... This location doesn't have a bed unless it's, like, way further down, so... There's not much I can really do about that, so I'm not gonna worry. On this difficulty, we'll probably end up finding another bed at some point anyway. At roll, I should say. I could just pass time making water, and it'd probably be better to do that here than um, at some place that isn't a location. Oh, but this does count as indoors. Which is a shame. Even if I go down here, probably, yeah. Some of these count as indoors, and some of them don't. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's the most reliable way 
determine if you can get cabin fever or not. I've mentioned that in the afflictions guide I made a while ago. But yeah, just because you just because guts cure doesn't necessarily mean that you're indoors. Like you can cure guts inside of a cave. Um, I know. Well, I guess it would, but like it would still technically be outside. You know what I mean? Because you can make a campfire, and so you could sit in a cave and not get cabin fever, even though guts would cure inside of them. So it's better to rely on this. This. You can't make a campfire indoors, so you know that the game considers this to be indoors. Let's drink the soda. Oh, I don't want to waste the calories, though. So, actually, let's just... How much more time do we need? Sleep, like, three hours. Point four. I can't do that math. I'm good at math. Don't get me wrong. I can do, like... Multivariable calculus, like, not hard. Doing a simple fraction to figure out what 0.4 of an hour is in minutes? I can explain how to do it, but I, I can't do that in my head very quickly. Math isn't meant to have numbers in it, okay? It's meant to just be letters and abstractions. The moment you add numbers, it becomes challenging. <laughs> It's like midday now. So we'll probably have to stay here until like later in the evening. There is like a thing that pops up when we finish it, isn't there? So I could just pass time until I see that. So it is nighttime, but I think I'm just gonna go immediately. I guess. What's the worst that's gonna happen? There's no auroras. There's still gonna be wolves and stuff, but. It's also not that dark. Why did I pick up those sticks? Because I'm. I have an instinct from my stalker and interloper games. Uh, we probably could sort of take a shortcut down here. Doesn't seem like a good idea, though. Especially when I can't see the road. So I'll just slowly walk. We have two flares. Um, that's fine. I think I want to start collecting this so I can drop the um, anti... You know, the antiseptic. Because if I just have, like, three of these in my inventory, then if I really need it, I can always just craft... One of these. So if I collect three, I can basically just drop that. I mean, I could just drop it anyway. So we basically just have to go out to the road and then head to the left. Probably could sort of just head left. Although I don't know if the fence is in the way or not. We're not very tired, which is good. Still pr plenty bright out. We are warm. I do really like the snow in this game. I've mentioned it before, but... Oh! I just realized how they did it, too, I think. That's clever. Oh, God. So what I'm imagining is around the player in the game, there's like a sphere or cylinder or something that just follows the player with these particle effects. I heard a wolf, didn't I? So right, you wouldn't have to bother rendering the snow globally. You just have to render it around the player. I heard a bark. I didn't hear, like, a squeal. I didn't hear anything else. The sun is setting. That's weird. Get a lot colder soon. So what did it... Why was it barking? What did it bark at? 
If it was like a bear, it should just probably like cry. Like just its scared noise. You, let me I have to I'll have to like look at that footage and make sure I actually did hear a bark. Oh, maybe it did kill something. What did it kill? I could just, um... Is that a bunny? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it. I could scare it away. But if it's distracted, that's good for me. So, we're still warm. Pretty sure I'm hanging the right way. It is starting to feel a little dark. Now, there's always those owl noises in the game. There's a lot of, like, small things in this game that you never actually see. Like, there's the woodpecker sound effects that can spawn in trees. There's, like, that owl sound effect. I wonder if they'll ever bother, like, adding just some small creature. Like, so, like an actual model for them. I don't know if it needs it, you know what I mean? Like, it works without ever seeing them. Because that's kind of like real life, you know? If you're walking through the woods and you hear, like, a woodpecker, you almost never actually can see it. So, I don't, like, I don't think they need, necessarily, to even do that. But I do appreciate, like, like I've said in the past, this game is, like, so well optimized, and it's just, it's so good. It just does everything it needs to. However they're doing the snow, though, you notice if, if I move left to right... It's not like... It is following me, I'm imagining. But it isn't like... It's not like I'm moving relative to it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, or I am moving relative to it. Where, like... I can walk through the snow. At least I think I can. It's hard to tell. Either way, it looks good, however they manage to do it. And I am guessing that it isn't global. You can kind of notice when I do this with the camera, like in the background, the background snow kind of moves with me. And in fact, I wonder if it's only in front of me. It might not even be behind me. Because that's very common with um, game development, that you only render stuff that the player can actually see in the moment. So I think we're here. We'll be able to check outside later. And it's really dark, so I'm just going to sleep the night, I guess. And then we can loot when it's daytime. And either way, we're going to be spending time here. I'm pretty sure it does say rural store, yeah. I want to make sure before I just spend some time. That's good, we're actually just, you know, one after the next, that's what matters. Still nighttime, we're fully rested. Okay. Wonder how you even play cards in the dark. I have seen at once upon a time that somebody did make a mod with like actual like cards physically in the game when you pass time, which was looked really interesting. I haven't really explored um, mods for this game. I'm sure that there's a lot of really interesting ones. I do know about the multiplayer mod that's like... Ooh, that's new. Right, we're gonna get a lot of some of the new food ingredients as well. Oh, good sodas. I don't need water then. At least not yet. Okay, I don't need those. Take this. Ooh, even more. Yeah, I don't need water for a while. Yes. So this is another thing. I noticed in one of my runs, if you notice the short I made, I did a um a time lapse of like the sunset in Mystery Lake, and in the camp office I found a sack of potatoes under the stairs. Because a lot of people were asking, like, if it's winter, how are you getting access to like these food items? And it's like, well, this is how. 
Basically, they're just like inside, just preserved. Kind of the way that people would just keep things during the winter. Store. Ooh. Bag of flour. Carrots, potatoes. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh, this is new. I bet this gives these things. Yep. So, I wonder. These are probably, like, location-specific. So this is one of those places you can come to get those food ingredients. I kind of oh, do want to... I kind of do want to do some of the new cooking in here. Even though we don't need to. Do I need that? Ooh. I don't think I do. I will take the energy drink, though. Okay, let's look at our inventory now. A little heavy. I'm, I don't need any of these matches. I don't really even need this many of these. 72, like, come on, right? Am I legitimately going to make more than 72 attempted fires? Like, they don't weigh that much, but they do add up. Painkillers, um, kind of useful, but I don't need that many of them. Antibiotics, I'll just try and be careful. Uh, I can just drop that. I can always go grab lichen if I'm, if I get bit by a wolf, like, it's not that big of a deal. So you can obviously just eat the raw carrots, but you can also use them as veggies. Buy oats. You can't just eat the oats, which to be fair kind of makes sense because it would be like all fiber and like you couldn't actually break it down, which is why you cook it, I guess. Let's eat this. Oh, I don't want to get fully dehydrated though. But I'll get rid of some of these lower tier things. I haven't found, like, a skillet yet in this game. I could probably loot a lot of this town while I'm here, right? Okay, so we did take down, like, 8% just sitting there. I probably don't need two of these. I mean, whetstones even, I probably don't need two of them. Probably don't even need the hacksaw. Right now, flares are the only thing we have against wolves, so I will carry them. Our clothes are like 7 kilograms. That's not even bad. We do have a lot of wood stuff. We really don't need... And we do have all this food that's the big thing. That's 10 kilograms. Potatoes do weigh a lot. So what could we actually make with what we have? We could actually make some porridge, which is like 350 calories. I did find a jar of broth at some point. I mean, stew, rabbit stew. So we'd actually need a lot of meat for these things. But I guess suppose it's just a way to improve the amount of calories from the meat. And you get some bonuses, which is cool. That's actually super cool. Especially, here's the thing, right? Like, these things are renewable. Like, the running oats are eventually going to run out, obviously. But there's even more. But something like broth, you can make forever because you can get water. Ooh, salt. But you need so little salt. And there's got to be so much in the game, you know? That this is probably essentially renewable. I wonder what ingredients you can also get through... Um... What's the word? Beachcombing. Because you can hunt the ptarmigan, you can just get water, and then these things you can always just, like, hunt and get. Recycled can recipes? That's a thing. Okay. So, I probably don't need the flour much. Not for anything that I can really make. In fact, it looks like I can't even use the potatoes beyond just eating them with my current skill. You get more recipes as your skills go up and as you find them in the world, from what I understand. This looks interesting, but it's still... 
Um, and I should. I should experiment. Just cook this, shouldn't I? So I'll leave the... Let's just see. Yep, that's about what I expected for a noise. I'll just leave those here. Uh, they don't let you eat raw potatoes, which again, because it's like pure starch, if you ate it, which you can, you basically just wouldn't digest it. So it's like, what's the point? I can't start a fire in here, can I? There wasn't a fire barrel. I'd have to go outside, which is kind of okay. I've already spent half a day here. That's nice. It sounds windy. Oh. Well, yeah, it's definitely windy. This started when we were inside, so there shouldn't be any wolves. So we can just loot a little bit. Um, I don't know. Can fire barrels blow out from the wind? I know campfires can. Pure deer hide. It's wild. Are we warm in here? Because that'd be funny. Well, we're not that cold. Well, I suppose if the game lets me start a fire here, it's probably okay. I'm not going to bother with the accelerant. I mean, maybe we're in wind cover, or maybe it just doesn't matter. And if the wind changes, it might blow out. I don't know. But we'll see. I need some water, so... Because you're not good at making fires, Astrid, probably, because you're like a doctor and you haven't really spent your time just like making fires for fun. You've kind of just like been pipetting in labs or something. Anyway. Okay. So it seems to not be in wind protection. It seems to just be burning. I don't think, um, I don't think time we pass out here will count towards, where is it, the store? It might, there's small chances some region, some areas will, but I don't expect this one to, but that's kind of okay, we do need this. Oh, crafting, what? Right, because this is where you'd make these. That was, that makes sense. I was like so confused, I'm like, why, what do you mean crafting? Let's add some wood, and... Oh, it's going to take a long time, because you have to do it, like, all at once. No, we're not even hungry. So it's really just a matter of waiting. And I can use the tablets. So, if I press cook, I could then make these things. Fire's still going just fine. Um, how are our clothes, though, even though we're next to the fire? A little wet, but I think overall it's probably okay. So, I need a cooking pot to make this. No cooking pot in inventory. And I haven't been carrying one. There might be one nearby. Well, I'm going to let that cook, and I'm just going to take a walk. Let's just see what's in here. There might be a cooking pot or something. There's probably tons of food and stuff. Do some quick looting. I don't want anything crazy. I just want, like, a gun. I'll have to just ignore most stuff, which really I don't like. I'll take sodas and water, though. Painkillers, meds, socks. Uh, cloth isn't even that bad for us. I look like a very large soda when it's like in my face. I'm pretty sure the last time I was here, I forgot that this existed. I'm pretty sure I always forget that exists. Okay, now there's carrots in here. So yeah, all the new ingredients are kind of everywhere.
I mean, I'm really just doing this to make this run interesting, you know? Like, I could just sort of bare bones it, do the minimum required, but... Ah, uh, here's some cooking oil. Do I want to cook anything with cooking oil? Firstly, I'd need, like, a skillet or something. I could make bread. But see, this is so interesting, you know? Like, just these choices you can make. I bet there's so much in these. Oh. This stuff will come in handy. Kilogram, but I kind of want it. So we could make these using cooking skill cooking skill insufficient because I need cooking skill level two for these recipes. Okay, well really cool. Yeah, so imagine how long the salt is going to last. Because you only need like a pinch of salt for these recipes. I love this though. I really Ooh. I really like the idea of all this like stuff. Well, there's really so much loot that I really just have to not take. I think I can use this. Anyway, skillet's cool, but uh, is it only used? Technically, you could cook anything in it, right? And it would like just do it faster. But I don't plan on using that because I don't plan on getting my cooking skill high. All this stuff. Well, let's just um take what we have. I'm not going to worry about all these, like, new recipes and stuff. We don't need to use them. It just is kind of fun to explore. I'll definitely do it in my stalker run, though. Okay. So, flour, be gone. Oats, be gone. Broth, I can just drink. And that actually will give me water, won't it? You can just drink, like, one cup at a time. Oh, these are already boiled? It's hard to know how much, like, in-game time passes in real time. Should I make coffees? I mean... We're gonna be sleeping so much. I think that's kind of fine. Let's just get back inside and um, keep passing time. Now we have plenty of water, so just chug that down. Only slightly overweight with all this food that we really don't need. I really am. Like, this is so interesting. I'm so glad that they added this stuff. It's really cool. That's gonna be so cool to just have those options, you know? Because it's kind of nice, right? Having food be more common, except you have to put in work to actually make it. Like, you could just have these ingredients kind of around. So overall, it's as if there's more food than there was before. But you have to actually take the time and the effort to get your cooking skill up to get all the things you need to actually do it. And I like that because it makes it more like skill based. <laughs> Look at the, the light move. It seems like the blizzard's over. Okay. Oh, you could see the bedroll start to degrade a little bit. Is there? There's no bed in here, so I have to just use the bedroll. Which is fine. Like seven. Worst case, we like rip apart a jacket. We do have. I think it was the other building that we had the like ski jacket. I could have, I could have collected cloth over there, but it's okay. Okay. 
Yeah, we can eat some of these, get thirsty. Then I'll drink some sodas. I'll just waste the calories for this, it's fine. I don't know how I feel about this challenge. Because like I said, it's... It's a lot of just this. Let's finish this soda. It's crazy how much more thirsty you are than hungry. But it also kind of makes sense. Yeah, broth alone doesn't give that many calories, but... Better than nothing. I could see someone on Interloper just like starving and finding like a thing of broth to like save them there's always stories like that from this game or from a lot of games you know where it's just you barely make it and then there's like this one thing that's there and it just saves you okay daytime let's see how much time we need we're like halfway of thirsty. I'll just pass like seven more hours until my thirst meter goes too low. <laughs> and then we just watch the shadow move across the screen. Which makes sense, right? Because the sun's getting higher above the building, so it's not coming in through the windows anymore. Are we really not thirsty or are we like dehydrated? No, just not yet. But yeah, thirst goes down way faster than food, so it's hard to like keep them balanced in terms of getting things that give both food and water without wasting the food part of it. We have to spend another full day here, so we have to take another night at least. So I don't even have to worry. But then we can just head up to the radio control hut. And I could loot this area more. I probably won't because I'd love to, you know what I mean? Like, I want to loot this area. And like, I could find a gun, but we also really don't need one. I might find one in the dam, so like, or tr in the Trapper's Homestead. Like, there's so many places we're going. I don't need to search places that aren't on the list because it's probably just a waste of time. We find a gun and then I complete the challenge and I never needed it, you know what I mean? So what's the point? It's a little fun, I guess, to make this challenge less boring, to do, like, a side quest. But I don't really think it's necessary. I think it's better if I just sort of go from place to place and get it done. And then we still have to do the um, buffer memory challenge, which is going to be interesting, because we're going to have to do a lot of Aurora stuff. It's also going to be kind of boring, I think, because we're going to have to just go to places and camp out until we get an Aurora. And then the As the Dead Sleep challenge is going to be extremely hard, and I'm probably going to fail it at least twice before I, if I succeed at all. It might end up being so hard that I just never do it. I don't necessarily want to assume that's the case, but it is the hardest challenge. The other ones up till now haven't been that bad at all. Like, what's been the hardest challenge so far? I mean, I'm trying to even think of what we did. Like, the hunted ones? We're not a big deal. Especially the first one, we just, like, find out how to, like, basically just cheat the challenge. Because of the game's mechanics, so it's not really cheating. Okay, let's eat these. These are a lot of weight. They're a lot of calories, but they're also a lot of weight. I mean, I guess, like, these are really a lot of weight, given the, like, few calories they are. Either way, drinking like a liter of water, that will bring our weight down. We're already below our maximum capacity. Well, we have to sleep the night. Nece well, I guess not, right? We could just wander out at night like last time. So, okay, point two, right? Two tenths. What would that be, times 60? So it's just two times six. But that'd be 12 hours, so that math is clearly wrong. No, it would be 1.2 hours. Am I right? No. 
No. Unless... No, because we would have slept two actual hours, right? I'll just do this. Show me the money. No? Eh. Um. Oh, there we go. It is like the middle of the night. We're a little tired, but we could probably get moving. I really want to search the town, but, like, I really shouldn't. Here we are. Tired, though. Okay, how bad's the bedroll? 66. It's definitely going down pretty quick. Maybe I'll go across the street, pick up some cloth just to repair the bedroll. We just spend a little bit of time here just to repair. I mean, I say that, but we're just going to find a bedroll somewhere else, right? I really want to loot the town. I want to take every single p item that I can take with us. Actually, I don't really need the light, do I? Like, in the bathroom, we can get cloth, I think. Really? You can't cut up a cloth at night with a knife by feeling? Oh, that's funny. Oh, there's two curtains? Do they count as two? Yep. Okay, how much do we actually need to repair this? Oh, only two of them. This will come in handy. Oh. Oh, and I can just hold the lantern when I cut, of course. I could just, like, use a fire for light. I could really just sleep the night. It really doesn't affect anything, does it? Like, it just doesn't matter. What matters is real life time, not in-game time. There is no limit to this challenge. You can do this challenge as slowly as you want. That'd be really interesting, you know? Starting this run as a challenge... And then forgetting that you're doing a challenge and just like playing the game until you finish it. The only hard thing is I don't think you, I don't think they have um, skill books spawning in the game. So you can only level up by doing stuff, which is itself a, a challenge. But that could be really interesting, you know. Okay. You love me a stale chocolate bar. That will definitely... Oh, wow. Okay. So now we can... Those are clothes? Because those clothes are also going to go down over time. Not too bad. Still dark. Okay, wait until the sun gets up. That should be enough. Ninety-six. That's much better. Now we have some extra cloth with us. Which we can either use to repair stuff or just we can drop it eventually. I, I would feel better with a rifle, a revolver, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Let's see. I want to see if I can get, like, a good view of that. Oh, ooh, I want the Canadian flag in there, too. I'm not Canadian, but, you know. That's a... That's probably a really nice thumbnail. Canadian flag, just... Amazing sky. And either way, even if I don't end up using that, it's still really nice to just appreciate the beauty of this game sometimes. I love that, though. That does look so good. I'm just going to do a quick gun check. I know I shouldn't be here. But I want a revolver. So, ooh. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I could make these things. I don't need to make these things, but I could. I'm not going to. 
can opener. Probably replace the one I have. Oh, it's like the same. Oh, there's more broth and salt. It's everywhere. Like every building. I'm just gonna look for like open things in the world. Kinda do want the water too. I I can drop any of this gear. More curtains. There could be a revolver, hypothetically, in one of these drawers, but I'd rather just see it in the world. Okay, next. Oh, I wonder. This probably could be a good place to find, um... Carrots and things. Unless they didn't even think of this place to add as, like, a loot spot. But they definitely should. Hello, friend. It's a lot of calories that I really don't need, but I can't help myself. Sure. You have a gun on you? No. Just don't- I'd love to not have to deal with wolves at all, you know? Well, there's always the church, right? You never know. Well, that makes sense, having matches here. I feel like that should be a permanent match spawn, but it probably... I don't know if there are permanent match spawns anymore. I really hate not checking all of these, like, things. Ugh, what if? I hate not checking all the interiors and everything, but... Anything in there? No. I, I'm pretty sure there could be a revolver in here. Well, there's at least that. Okay, I think that's it. We can now head up to the radio control hut. Did I drink all the other broth? I guess I did. Well, our condition, everything's good, so we may as well run. Um, I'm trying to think. Is it like, it's that way, isn't it? Or like that-ish way? So following the road's probably not the fastest way to get there. Or is it over there? We should be able to see it at some point. Wow, look at that, sunrise. That is... wow. This game. So Timberwolf Mountain is like that way. Oh. Well, the barn's like this way, sort of. See, if I had a revolver, I wouldn't even have to worry. I could just like shoot in the air or I could just shoot it. And I have flares and stuff, but like... I don't even want to have that, like, encounter. It's just, like... Just shoot it. Solution to all my... Wow, look at that. Oh, my God. Well, this is definitely not the fastest way to go, is it? Probably is better just gone the road, because we basically took the whole curve, right? At this point, it's probably better just have gone that way. But I don't think I'm going to be that much slower going around this rock. How heavy are we? Not that bad, actually, considering all the food that we grabbed. That's why I could never... Oh, okay. That's why I could never play, like, 
Pilgrim or Voyager. Because I'm just like... I want all of the loot. I would have to... The first thing I would have to do on that difficulty is get the backpack in Ash Canyon. And the second thing I would have to do is get the Moosehide Satchel so that I could just carry everything I find. That's why I kind of like the harder difficulties a little because there's just not that much loot. Which means I can take everything I find with me because there isn't that much of it. But when there's loot everywhere... I think I'm hearing something like outside in real life. I was so confused. Oh. You know, you could at least try, Astrid. No, it's just too steep. She's just like standing there. She's like, yeah, too steep. I can't. It's like, well, you could try. I mean, obviously, from a game design perspective, I see why they have to do that, but still. I think I hear, like... Like a trimmer? Or... Like, cutting grass and stuff. I don't know, but also sounds like a man screaming at the same time. Which is kind of disconcerting, and that's why I was so confused. I could search the barn and see if there's a revolver in there. I could go to the other barn in the farmhouse. Okay, like I said, there could be one in the dam. I've seen revolvers in the dam. I could get one in the trapper's homestead. I could get a rifle in the trapper's homestead. So I should just keep going. Head to the next location. But what if there's a revolver in that car? And I'd never looked. I do have to be careful of the bear. So that is also something I can't deal with. I think I can sort of start heading this way. Do some accelerants so I could start a fire if I really need to. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's a hour th three. And I feel like a lot of my thinking about the long dark is still stuck in like 2014, 2015, 2016. In the sense of, like, I think of the game as very finite, even with beachcombing. Like, I think of resources as, like, mostly finite. Things like the lichen, right? In my head, I'm like, well, there's only so much in the whole game. But what I forget is there are so many new regions. <laughs> like, there are so many regions. And they're still adding at least two more. Possibly three more once they get, um... Episode 5 out. So, even if there's a limited number of things like Reishi Mushrooms and Rose Hips, the, like, the sheer quantity of those things in this game, in all the regions, not even mentioning Beachcombing, like, it's kind of just absurd. Oh, well, that solves my answer. Now, the question is, do I just commit to rifle and drop all the revolver ammo? I could use this. Or do I hope for both? I do really like having this, though. It's, um, it's really low. But I don't want to waste my time here cleaning it. So hopefully if we have to use it, it just doesn't jam. Which is kind of a horrible thing, because that's way more dangerous than just using a flare. Because then the wolf would just, like, charge. I could just... Well, we, we're we going up there, right? Once we're up there, we can just clean it. So how many flares do I need to get from here to there? At most one. 
And I can spend most of this just cleaning it up. We do have like half a kilo of revolver ammo. Which is why I'd love to have a revolver, but... We simply don't. I feel like the strategy actually, right? As far as I understand, if like there's a wolf there and he sees me, if I aim at him, the wolf will attack me, right? But what if there's a wolf there that sees me and I turn around and I aim? Like, is it just he sees me and then I aim and then it attacks me? Or is it, it specifically if you aim at the wolf? Because if it's just... If you could, like, turn around and aim and it doesn't attack you, then I think the strategy with, like, a low-end gun is to do that, because you can just shoot, and if it succeeds, then you scare off the wolf with a loud noise. But if it fails, you don't immediately get attacked. So, I don't know how that works, precisely. Also, am I going over to, like, the bear cave? Where am I? I want to head this way. I think this is where I want to go. I don't know how I can't see it anymore. I think it's just right over there. Yeah, okay. Might sprain an ankle here. Is that just a giant rock or is that a bear? <laughs> And look at the clouds. Look, oh my god, look at the sky. Literally, in this game, you will see, like, every single color in the sky at some point. If you spend enough time in the game. That's amazing. That could be a thumbnail just by itself. I'll have to see which one I prefer. That's actually one of the problems with me recording at a lower bitrate. So since I record essentially at the bitrate that YouTube will be displaying to you guys, on like a desktop, right, if you're just playing the video file, it looks worse because it's so much more compressed. But obviously it's going to look identical if it's being upload, if it's like being downloaded from a cloud service that already compressed it. So one of the issues with doing that is if I take like a frame of this video for a thumbnail, the frame itself is also compressed and doesn't look as good. But of course, for my thumbnails, I tend to blur the frames anyway, and the frame for the thumbnail will be the thumbnail itself is going to be compressed and stuff. So on YouTube, it's not a big deal. But if I were to like take this image as like a desktop background, it wouldn't work. And one solution to that is I could just take a screenshot in game while I'm recording, but... I'd rather not do that. Unless I see something particularly good. So it's a bit of a shame that that's the case, but... You know, that's just kind of how it is. I'm not going to, like, fill up my hard drive with significantly more data simply so that I can take one image from the video, you know what I mean? Unless that's the reason I'm recording is for, like, screenshots. Like, even that wouldn't be that bad of a thumbnail. Look at the sky. I love this. So, like, see that, right? That said Signal Hill. So, to me, that means right here, right where we are, and inside this fence, we can just be here, and that counts as passing time inside of the region. So, I'm going to test that. There's some nice wood. Before I go inside, I'm just going to camp out here. 
says um signal hill is oh they cheated i see because this is signal hill but this is the radio control hut so uh, signal hill's not the thing that we want this is what we want okay that makes sense Why are all the can openers 77%? Whoa, that was weird. I like clicked and let go and re-clicked. Like I said before, I don't really want a mag lens. It would just get in the way. We have tons of matches. I probably have said that before. Another flare I don't need. More food I don't need. Combat Still boots. That might actually be reasonable. In terms of mobility, it's worse. And wait, so no, there's no reason. We're plenty warm. Warmth is, like, not an issue. Wait, are those work pants better than what we have? They might be. I don't think so, but let's check. I think I can use this. No. Oh, nice, because we're actually going to need that. Military coat's nice. Two kilograms, though. And we already have really great coats. Um, with the... That's the thing, right? The parka. Versus the military coat. So this is probably better for, um... Strength rather than warmth, if I'm guessing. This 73%. Or more coffee I'm not going to use. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do in this episode. I think I'll leave this area to loot at the beginning of the next episode, so... Overall, it's been pretty good. At least we have a gun now. I'll just have to clean it up. And yeah, I think I will give up on the revolver. I just need something for defense. It's not a big deal. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one.